it's going to be Respondus Lockdown Browser. So for those of you that don't know what it is, uh, just a really quick overview, Respondus Lockdown Browser is an assessment security product that when you opt to use it, it will quote unquote lock down the student's um, interface on their computer. It makes it very difficult to do things like minimize or use other applications, you know, and, and it disables a lot of things like shift tabs. So you can't like work around it. Is it completely perfect? Nothing is. It is not an armed Pinkerton guard standing by your student. However, it makes cheating excessively difficult. And when you leverage some of the other things on tests, like random question, randomizing your questions, randomizing your answers, perhaps putting a time limit on it, controlling the availability, and then you layer in something like lockdown browser, the student really is forced to make a decision. Do I spend my time figuring out how to bypass the cheating prevention or do I just take the test? And that's kind of what we, you know, any, any assessment security often comes down to that, but it is a very great, it's a great tool to help layer on another level of assessment security. The reason it's dicey to demo is because the nature of the product locks down the browser. And so I am now in a collaborate session. I'm sharing my screen. I am remote. Sometimes it bombs out, but I tested it this morning. It worked out fine. And I say, we go, we go for it. Um, I think I've tweaked it so that it'll work like it's supposed to. Here's, here's what it does. So Respondus set up, it is LTI. It is, it, and it is, it is ultra compatible. And not only is it ultra compatible for your ultra courses, it actually works better. And here's why. In original view courses, if you want to use Respondus Lockdown Browser on your Blackboard assessments, the student has to open their local Respondus Lockdown Browser application on their local PC and then navigate to Blackboard that way and find your test and then take it. It works fine, but it's a weird workflow because that's not what students would do. They would normally just log into Blackboard, find your test and take it. But if it, and it won't let them if it's got Lockdown Browser. They have to go open up Lockdown Browser and go get there. Again, it's been that way for years, it works great. In Ultra, it's one step better. They can just go to the test in your Ultra course, and when they click on it, the Respondus Lockdown Browser just automatically loads, which is quite nice. So let's take a look at what that looks like. For this, I am going to need to share my whole screen, and I have a gigantic monitor, so it's, um, it might look a little small on your end. I apologize, but I think it'll get the, uh, it'll get the point across. The first part I'm gonna do before I do all that is just show you what it looks like. So I've got this unit one test here and you can see here I've labeled it as Respondus Lockdown Browser. What does that mean? So let me look at this test. This is a built-in standard Blackboard test. I use it using the built-in Blackboard tools. There's nothing fancy about the test itself, but this server has Respondus Lockdown Browser set up with their LTI integration and their and their test proctoring tool that's on the on the back end and it's ultra compatible and so what that means is ass under assessment security I'm able to choose that I want Respondus Lockdown Browser enabled this is an instructor choice when I click it I get to see the Respondus Lockdown Browser kind of control panel and what this is telling me is in this course I have four tests and only one of these tests actually has Respondus Lockdown Browser enabled and that is the unit one test. So that's just kind of letting you know what's here. And this again, all being driven by the Respondus Lockdown Browser integration. So that's fine. This is done on the instructor side. On the student side, I'm gonna go into this course and you can see I've got my unit one test in my unit one cell folder. It's right there. When I click this though, it's going to, it's going to open it up. So I'm gonna share my full screen so you can see everything. Uh, one second here. I'm hoping I'm not going to regret risking doing this kind of demo, but I think it'll work like it's supposed to. So I'll share full screen. I apologize if it's tiny, but I think you'll be able to see it. Yes, Lockdown Browser only, where it's designed to work specifically with tests built in Blackboard. That's what it's for. It is only a proctoring tool. Uh, sorry, and it's assessment security tool for tests that are you built using Blackboard. So what happens here? Here is the student experience. When I click the unit one test and go to view assessment, because this is a lockdown, notice what happens. And someone can verify that you're seeing this page. Um, I'll kill this application and it should load. And I think that you'll be able to see it. I think I allowed Collaborate to be seen. Yep, we see it, Darren. Or did I get kicked out? We see are it. Are you able to see my lockdown browser? Yes, we are. Oh, and so now I'm a student, I can, Take my test, submit it. Once I submit it, Lockdown Browser 
closes out, grade goes back in, works seamlessly. I did terrible on the test, but that's, that's that. And I'm now back into my Blackboard course.